Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. If you like the content and want to see more videos, don't forget, click subscribe and the bell to be alerted for new content. How to do flat using, if you have a Rasa or a Hyperstar. Um, the first thing you're going to need to do, of course, is you're going to need to point your um, scope vertical and your mount horizontal unless if you're going to do it this way you can also of course use sky flats light panel things like that but if you're using a light panel you'd want to you'd have something like this this is an aluminum um dew shield this dew shield is from astro zap it's um very sturdy and what I use, what I've used in the past, is I actually have used a light panel that you would probably get for 30 bucks from Amazon. Um, and they work fine. You would have to sometimes use copy paper or a t-shirt to help diffuse the light um, to get to the ideal ADU that you need to get to. Um, usually that ADU is somewhere around 26,000 ADU um, or a little bit higher than that. I personally try to go towards the center of the histogram and maybe then a little bit lower, maybe at about 30,000 ADU, but it's really, um, if you're around that range, I think you'll probably be good. Um, but this is what I use. This is a new piece of equipment I also got. This is the Spica um, flat filter, and this is an LED dimmable flat filter from all pro software out of Fitchburg, um, Wisconsin. Um, this costs about $250, give or take. And this comes with several different pieces. Um, this comes with a remote control for your dimming, uh, cable, as well as the um, control, the dimmer control that you will hook up to the panel. And this runs off of 12 volt power so you will get a DC um, power cable um, so you can use that in your power tanks um, with your batteries um, things like that and then you can also get an AC adapter that comes with that as well but what I use for myself is I use a a, um, a DC cable that came with my ASIR Pro that you can use to hook it directly up to the ASIR Pro and that will manage the power. You'll still need the dimmer remote control to set your dimming but that can run your power or you can also use a power a pocket power box Pro. Um, and if I turn it on here and I'll go to 100 you can actually see it now and it does dim there are settings here to dim it to dim it down and what you'll do is of course you'll put this on top of your um, dew panel or your dew shield rather and then from there then you will go ahead and you will do your flats you can do them within the ass air pro um, all Pro software does have an additional piece of software that you can use with a Windows PC, which is very good if you um, if you have multiple filters, such as you have mo uh, multiple narrowband filters, um, LRGB filters, or in my case, such as um, light suppression filters um, and things like and those types of filters. And what they will do is with that software, you can set up a library um, for every filter and also the illumination per filter and you can do that somewhat also in the ASA air you can the, there are multiple sections when you do the auto run where you can set up multiple areas or multiple um, sessions and you can set up flat for the um, with the um, spike of flat and you can set up your exposure times now I'm not sure if it'll also most likely you will not remember the dimming but it will at least remember um, the exposure time so for, for me personally I'll probably look into getting the software but this is how I actually now do all of my flat calibration frames using this light panel so I figured I would share that with you while we're waiting for nightfall 